Welcome to ES Anime. Today, I will show you a romance, slice of life anime from 2022 called, My Dress Up Darling. Watch out and take care. The story starts when young Wakana Gojo looking at some Hina dolls that his grandfather made. He appears to be very pleased with his work. He wants to make Hina dolls like his grandfather, but his friend tells him it's a girl's job, which disappoints him. The scene shifts, and Wakana awakens to the sound of his alarm. He says good morning to the doll's head that was behind his inspiration. Wakana then walks downstairs and greets his grandfather. He then went to school after speaking briefly with him. Wakana worries about himself not having any friends because of his peculiar interest in Hina dolls, which he can't share with anyone else. Wakana encounters Marine in an unusual way in his classroom when she ends up banging her head on his desk. As Marine apologizes to him, she notices some black ink on his arm. Wakana gets flustered and Marine leaves. Wakana is rearranging the chairs after school when Marine appears. Marine suspects that Wakana was being used to clean up after school because it was not his responsibility, and she was right about it. Marine advised him not to be a doormat and to stand up for himself. At night, Wakana discovers that the sewing machine at his home is broken. And the next day he starts using one at his school. As he's talking to his Hina doll's head, Marine barge in and there's an awkward silence between the two. Wakana is extremely embarrassed, whereas Marine appreciates Wakana's talent. Marine tells Wakana that she's been working on an outfit to wear when she cosplays as Shizuku Tan, a character from a video game. Wakana criticizes the costume, prompting Marine to ask Wakana for assistance in creating a perfect costume for her cosplay. Wakana reluctantly agrees, and Marine begins telling him about Shizuku Tan's backstory. Wakana informs Marine that he knows nothing about the game or Slippery Girls, and Marine wishes to dress up as a character from the game. Marine explains everything to him, and he realizes that game is an era game, which Marine confirms. Marine gives him a guide to making cosplay costumes. The next morning, Marine comes to Wakana's house and goes straight to his room. Wakana is flustered about her presence in his room. Marine wants him to take her measurements and strips down revealing a two-piece swimsuit. Wakana is flustered, but slaps himself hard to focus on what he's about to do. Wakana is extremely awkward while measuring Marine's size, but she seems chill about it, however Wakana notices that she is blushing heavily when he finishes the last measurement. Later, Marine gives Wakana slippery girls to play with so that he can get inspiration for the outfit. Wakana's grandfather discovers him playing the game at night and understands his motivation, but is surprised to see him taking notes. Wakana have a dream about Marine in her cosplay. It wasn't an innocent dream, but it started that way. Marine notices Wakana at school and thanks him for his assistance. Marine's friends join them, and after a brief conversation, Marine and her friend leave Wakana alone. Marine does not treat Wakana differently in front of her friends, which surprises Wakana. Because of his morning dream, he avoids Marine for the rest of the day. Marine soon spotted him again near the train station. Marine confronts him about his behavior, and Wakana explains that he is awkward around her. Marine and Wakana then go shopping for her cosplay outfit, and the fabric they choose is quite expensive. Marine on the other hand, is unconcerned about the budget and instructs Wakana to get everything he requires. After getting done with the outfit shopping, both Wakana and Marine go to shop for her wig from Swallowtail and Wakana was surprised to see the variety and colors and styles of the wigs. They come across a wig that is perfect for her cosplay, and Marine expresses her gratitude to Wakana that she's glad she didn't go shopping alone. After finishing the wig, the two go to a lingerie shop to get some garter and stockings. That whole part was extremely awkward for Wakana, and Marine enjoyed teasing him. They finish all of their shopping by the evening, eat ramen, and walk home. Wakana tries to repay Marine for the food he ate with her, but Marine tells him that it was her treat. Later, Marine informs Wakana that she's going to do the cosplay in about two weeks, and Wakana becomes concerned about not having enough time to complete the costume. Wakana's grandfather is pleased that he has gone shopping with his friend, but is surprised to find a pair of stockings in the shopping bag, causing him to fall back and injure his back. Wakana's cousin Miyori arrives at the hospital and tells her grandfather to stay at her house for two weeks because he needs to rest. Her grandfather accepts her proposal. Wakana tells Marine about his situation at school, and she offers to assist him. She also tells him to give her his phone number. 
Later, it is revealed that it is time for their midterm exams which worries Wakana even more because he believes he will be unable to manage both. Wakana has had a difficult week due to his exams, and he completely ignores Marine when he finishes the last exam because he is exhausted. Marine arrives at his house late at night with a beef bowl to cheer him up, but notices that the lights are turned off. She assumes Wakana is spending time with his grandfather and leaves. Wakana, on the other hand, was lamenting his shortcomings, but he recalls his time with Marine and works until morning. He calls Marine in the morning to tell her he's finished with the costume. Marine later arrives to see her costume and is completely taken aback by it. She also admits that she was not supposed to attend the event in two weeks. Marine apologizes to Wakana and begins to cry because she caused the misunderstanding. Wakana wants Marine to try on her outfit and assists her with makeup and other minor adjustments. Marine is completely satisfied with the end result. Wakana takes photos of Marine dressed as Shizuku Tan and compliments her. Marine chooses to attend the cosplay event. She gets dressed up again the next day and goes to the event. Marine attracts a lot of attention and believes that it is because of her perfect boob bag that she looks good and attracts everyone's attention. Wakana realizes as Marine is getting her pictures taken that he has helped Marine and that his days with her are over. Marine is feeling hot. She tells Wakana that she was wearing two new bras to make her boobs appear larger, and now she cannot breathe. Both enter the building and Marine cools off by having Wakana unzip her. On their way home, Marine reveals to Wakana that there are 50 characters that she wanted to cosplay and would need Wakana's help. Wakana is delighted to hear from Marine saying that he will gladly assist her. Marine is in Wakana's bathroom, washing her wig. Meanwhile Kaoru, Wakana's grandpa is on his way home. As Kaoru arrives home, he sees Marine with Wakana and is very confused. Later Wakana explains everything to his grandpa. Marine on the other hand is definitely head over heels for Wakana. Marine's stomach grumbles and Wakana and Kaoru invite her to stay for dinner. One rainy day, a girl approached Wakana's house and seek shelter. Kaoru leaves, informing Wakana that a friend has arrived and is taking a bath. Worried that there is a burglar inside the house, Wakana searches the bathroom and discovers the girl naked. The girl later introduces herself as Sajuna Inui. She was now stalking both Wakana and Marine because she discovered that Wakana made Marine's costume for the event and wanted him to make one for her as well. Wakana recognizes Sajuna as someone whose Marine was a fan of. Marine later arrives and is overjoyed to see Sajuna there. Sajuna tells Wakana that she wants him to make a costume for a character named Black Lily and asks for his phone number. She assures Marine that she won't be doing anything else and asks her if she and Wakana are dating. Both of them become flustered, and Wakana responds that he is not dating anyone. Marine likes his response and asks Sajuna if she wants to cosplay with her, but Sajuna declines. Marine is constantly bugging Sajuna to do a group cosplay with her. Sajuna says she'll be renting a studio for her Black Lily cosplay. Marine offers to help if she allows her to participate in a group cosplay with her. Sajuna is enticed by this offer, and she accepts it. Wakana, now wishes to watch the entire Flower Girl Blaze anime series but is unsure where to do so. Marine offers him her complete set of animated series so that he can watch it peacefully. The next day, Wakana visits Marine and is flustered on how she was dressing but Marine was flustered because she was not wearing her contacts. Wakana wishes to bring the DVDs to his house, but Marine invites him to watch the anime at her house, where he will not have to lift the heavy load of the DVDs. Wakana takes the offer, and they both begin watching the series. Marine was having a good time with Wakana and wished it could last forever, but she gets hungry and goes into the kitchen to make some omurice. She ends up ruining the omurice, but Wakana happily eats it. Later, Wakana contacts Sajuna and shows her the reference sketch he created. His abilities impress Sajuna. Wakana is blown away when he learns about Sajuna's tape that can change the shape of one's eyes. He also tells Sajuna that this was his first time working on a cosplay costume with Marine, which surprises her. Sajuna offers Wakana her camera, which her sister uses to photograph her cosplay. Wakana wants to learn how to properly take photos from her sister, so they decide to meet at a restaurant with Sajuna's sister Shinju. Shinju is actually a younger sister, but she appears older due to her height and body type. 
Sajuna reveals to everyone that Shinju is the one who posts all of her photos on social media and manages her account. While Shinju discuss about various camera types and features. Maureen asks Shinju if she wants to cosplay as well. Shinju politely declines. The group decides to go to a photoshoot location, and they choose an abandoned hospital that has been converted into a studio. Everyone is excited to visit but Sajuna is visibly nervous. She is terrified, and the rain adds to her anxiety. Sajuna inquires of Wakana about his dreams. Wakana tells her about his ambition to become a Hina doll artist. Sajuna tells him that she wanted to be a magical girl, but after learning that magical girls were fake, she abandoned the idea. Wakana questioned Sajuna on why she chose him to design her cosplay. She responded that she was envious of Marine's perfect costume and asked Wakana to make one for her as well. Maureen and Wakana go to the beach the next day and have a fantastic time. Wakana admits to Marine that he hasn't visited many places, and Marine promises to take him to many different places. Marine gets flustered by her promise and walks away. She comes to the surface while Wakana still having fun in the water. Marine takes his picture as he trips and falls into the ocean, getting covered in seaweed as a result. Wakana and Marine arrive from the store with the materials for the black lobelia outfit. The conversation shifts to swimsuits, and Marine shows her swimsuit to Wakana making him flustered. She also mentions that she sent Wakana a few pictures of herself in her swimsuit and that he did not respond to any of her messages. Wakana thinks to himself that a lot happened after she sent those pictures to him. Sajuna arrives at Wakana's house to try on the outfit that Wakana made for her. Wakana inquires if she would like anything changed. Sajuna admits that her skirt could be a little puffier, but she chooses to wear a tutu underneath it. Wakana asks Marine if she's okay with her outfit, and she says it was insane. Sajuna helps Marine with her makeup. While Wakana suggests that she use cosplay tape to make her eyes appear sharper. Marine is astounded to see herself in her phone's mirror and believes she has always been Black Lobelia. Rain begins to fall on the day of the shoot, which worries Marine, but Sajuna is unconcerned. Marine takes a selfie with Sajuna and is surprised by how many likes she receives. Wakana appears unexpectedly with Shinju, shocking everyone. The scene shifts to a flashback when Wakana asks Shinju if she would like to cosplay as any character. Shinju tells him that she wants to cosplay that one character, but she won't be able to because her body type does not match the character. Wakana motivated her and she revealed that she wants to cosplay as Soma Oni-chan, a character from the same anime series. Wakana tells her that he'll help her with the cosplay as Shinju's boobs are bigger. They pop off the buttons of the shirt she's supposed to be wearing for the cosplay. Wakana, on the other hand, advises her to use Sarashi wrapped, but it isn't much help either. He discovers another way to flatten her chest, the beholder. Back in the present, Marine and Sajuna are taken aback by how well Shinju has pulled off the cosplay look. All three of them take a picture together before their photo shoot. Wakana and Sajuna are waiting for Shinju and Marine's photo shoot to be done. Sajuna offers Wakana money because he spent his own money on Shinju's cosplay, but Wakana refuses. Later, Marine calls Wakana and inquires about Shinju's makeup. Wakana tells her that he only learned how to do it from a magazine. Wakana is looking at the cosplay in progress for Marine's next character, Veronica, but the character has a dark skin tone. Wakana believes that it would be better to simply touch up the photos. Marine then visits Wakana, who is surprised to see Marine so tanned. Marine informs him that she had been wearing a darker foundation but decides to shower at Wakana's house because it was too hot for her to wear that foundation all over her body. Later, Marine shows Wakana all the essentials that she had for her cosplay. She was concerned about the fake sharp teeth, but Wakana suggested that fake nails be used instead. Marine then puts on her cosplay costume, which blusters Wakana. The next day, both Marine and Wakana go to a men's shopping store for Wakana to try on some clothes. Later, Wakana reveals to Marine that he can't help Marine with Veronica's cosplay further because he can't really look at her in that revealing outfit. As they're walking back, Marine offers to send a picture of Veronica's cosplay to him in a playful way and Wakana is flustered. Marine then tells him that she was just joking. Marine and Wakana go to a cafe, where Marine tells him about a manga called Suck IDK. 
Maureen admits that because the main character has half pigtails, she hasn't considered cosplaying as the main character of a manga. She believes that this hairstyle will not suit her, but Wakana assures her that it will. Maureen has decided that she will cosplay as a succubus next. The shoot will take place at a love hotel where Wakana and Maureen are staying. Wakana is taken aback by the location and sits awkwardly inside the room while Maureen changes into her cosplay outfit. Once everything's done, Wakana starts taking Maureen's photos. He suggests that Maureen should get on top to replicate a certain scene from the manga. Wakana realizes that the position they chose is extremely inappropriate as they get into it and tries to get Maureen off of him. This only makes matters worse, and their awkward moment together is cut short by a call from the front desk informing them that their time is up. That's when both of them leave. In her apartment, while Wakana helps Maureen with her hair ribbons, he discovers that her father cancelled her invitation to go to a summer festival, as she had not done her homework. She also reveals to him that she has been modeling for a magazine to save up for a DSLR camera. When they decide to watch a horror movie, Wakana is nervous as he has not watched one before. However, by the end of it, he is analyzing the costumes, while Maureen is left scared. They then visit their school to retrieve Maureen's math drills, and Wakana saves Maureen from drowning when she slips into the pool. Having finished her homework, Maureen invites Wakana to the festival, and he is stunned by her look in a yukata, making her happy. They watch the fireworks together, and Wakana carries Maureen home, as she is left with bruised feet from walking on sandals. Back home, Maureen calls Wakana, telling him that she wants to hear his voice, as she is scared after watching another horror movie. During their talk, Wakana begins to fall asleep, and hearing that he has passed out, Maureen tells him that she loves him. If you loved this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on another one. Until next time.